I'll create a new HTML file. I'll name it as basics dot HTML. So what I'm going to tell you is I'm going to explain you a couple of basic elements in the HTML. So since you already know how to create the boilerplate template shift one that is exclamation symbol and then enter. Obviously your template will come. So now in the title what I'm going to give I'm going to give RKIT hub that is my title. So once I give the title so the next place you have to understand whatever the text you write under body there only you will be able to write or display the content on your page HTML page. So now I'm going to talk about couple of basic uh, elements which we use that is first one is headings when you say headings h h1 to h6 we call these are heading heading tags head, heading element so when i say h1 enter obviously rk digital training i'm going to give the name and then there is a starting tag and there is a ending tag for your h1 element so inside of these tags your content will be there so this is one way of your defining your element so what you are going to do is if i have to write h2 just write h2 and then copy paste this and if you have attribute then your element will look differently what is that we will see what is an attribute how uh, you will add attribute to the element also we will see now i am going to add h3 and then why i am taking the same name because you can see the difference of h1 h2 h3 and h4 h5 h6 so we will see that we will write all these tags here and then we will write the content as rk digital training and then we will see the way how it is displaying on the browser okay and the last one is h6 now if i run this html file right click and then preview in default browser then you will be able to see the different headings this is h1 h2 h3 h4 h5 h6 based upon your requirement you will be making use of it i'll just keep like this i'll just keep it like this and then i'll go back to my html code vs code now i am going to tell you one more code that is paragraph uh, tag paragraph element so when i take paragraph element see here here i am going to write this is uh, html tutorial okay so if i have to run this first save it and then go back to your page and then refresh then automatically you will see that this is HTML tutorial paragraph has come here. So this is how if at all you wanted to write more text. I am learning HTML from RK IT hub and then save it and then you can go back and refresh the page automatically it will get displayed for example if you don't write if you don't uh, save it after writing it here let us say hyderabad i have added hyderabad and i did not save and i go back to my page and then i try to refresh then you will see you will not see the change whatever you have written here and you have to ensure that you save it once you write the code and then go back and refresh then obviously you will be able to see the change on that particular html page so this is what you are going to have your html uh, h1 elements to h6 elements and also paragraph element remember one thing h uh, your html is not case sensitive that means either you can give capital p or small p it doesn't matter it will work in the same mode so but better you always give as a small case letter but uh, html is not case sensitive that you can remember and now 
once you understand h1 to h6 tags uh, h1 to h6 elements and then paragraphs now we will understand one more thing called link how are we going to display the link so to display the link you have to use a tag called anchor tag we call it as anchor tag if you look at here after the a element you have something href is equal to some value so href so this is your hyperlink reference okay so your html reference will be here so whatever you wanted to open let us say i wanted to open google page or https and then uh, any other website whatever you wanted to amazon.co.in you can write whatever you want www.amazon.co.in so if you write like this and then you can say that this is amazon so the content you have to write after the greater than symbol and before this so once you write it save it and then go to your page so if you go and refresh this page you will be able to see this link if you click here then obviously your page will go to the corresponding website whatever the url you have given so you know already url stands for uniform resource locator so this is your reference for this html whatever the anchor tag you are using it will take you to that particular page let us say i wanted to take one more element where i wanted to open google google.co.in so here i'll write google and save it and then go back to your page and then refresh and see you will be able to see google click on that then you will be able to see the google page so immediately you may get a question how can i have my google in the next line see here both of them are at the same place if you wanted to have it in the next line you need to use a tag called, tag called break okay so this break will allow you to have it in the next line see so this tag we will call it as there is no end tag required for this br uh, element so whatever you write if at all you wanted to have it in the next line so then you are going to use br element obviously see the br element represents a line break so it will tell you what exactly the element is doing so that is how you will be able to display the links now what i wanted to do is i wanted to display an image so before that i will take one image from the website okay let's say uh, I'll, I'll take one image uh, whatever the format you want jpg so just take one image and then we will put that image okay let's say i wanted to take this image this uh, tiger image so take it and save image and then keep it under your html folder okay i'm writing it as tiger dot jpg so now we have our file so if you go and look at your file under html you have the tiger dot jpg file so what you have to do is you have to go to your vs code so to display the image what you have to do is you have to use image image element double click and automatically you have to provide the source of the image so where is that source you have it in your folder you take that name and then put it here and then i'll explain you alt attribute later but for now you just understand what needs to be written here jpg and then you can save this and image also you no need to have n tag and then run it and see what is happening see your image has come here so if you wanted to uh, resize it then you will have an option to add the width and height of the image so what you are going to do is i'm not talking about alt now i'm going to add width let's say width is equal to let's say some 100 within double quotes you are going to write 100 and then h e i g h t height is equal to let's say i'll put it as 150 
so like this i have written and then save it and then run again then you will be able to see the size of the uh, image whatever you have taken according to your requirement you can change it to 200 whatever the way you want you can uh, change the image size and then according to your requirement you can display that so this is how you will be displaying the images so we will learn all these elements in a detailed manner but what we are trying to understand is we are trying to understand what are all the basic elements you should know so those are what we have seen so far we have seen h1 to h6 we have seen that is h1 uh, heading elements we have seen and we have seen paragraph element and uh, we have seen break and also we have seen link and we have seen image and also now what we wanted to show you is if at all you have something here right alt so whenever you see any element your element let's say h1 is your element so element will start with a starting tag and then it will end with a ending tag with a forward slash in between whatever you have that we call it as the content which is going to be displayed on your html page if you look at here for the anchor tag anchor element so there is a starting tag and there is a ending tag and you have here this href we call it as attribute so every attribute will have a value corresponding to that there will be a value attribute and then value will be given here and then whatever the name you wanted to display that will go under your content so here this is your attribute and this is your value alt is also another attribute and then value width another attribute and then 200 is the value like that you will be providing so now i'll write in the alt tag i am writing tiger image and then save it now see what is going to happen let's say if i run this i'll see the tiger image but i don't see the alt information now what i'm going to do is i'll go to my html page i will change the location of this image and i'll put it under img and then i'll change the location of the image now if i run the html what is going to happen it will check for the html folder and check whether the image tiger.jpg is there or not that is what it will check because you have written tiger.jpg which is there in your html code so if it is not there then obviously it will not display but your alt tag will display the respective message whichever is the information you wanted to pass when the image is not available your alt attribute will display the corresponding message that is the purpose of alt now i'll go back and put my tiger image one more time back and then put it here and then rerun see what is going to happen so this will display your uh, html image whatever you have written that will be displayed your alt attribute will not be displayed so this is the purpose of understanding your html elements and then what is the content you are passing and what is the tag name you are using and also you need to understand which element does what okay that is also very very important now if you look at the attributes whatever we spoke these are called attributes so there are certain things you need to understand on the attributes front what will have your attributes html elements will have attributes that is the first thing you need to understand and what is the purpose of these attributes this will provide additional information like just now we have seen right alt attribute is providing you the additional information of that particular image so that is the second thing and where you are going to uh, display your attribute whatever the first tag you have the starting tag only will have your attributes your ending tag does not have your attribute your attribute will be there always in the starting tag of the element that is that you have to remember and also attribute always comes with a key and a value so what is that attribute value uh, what is the attribute name and what is the 
value so we call it as uh, it's a name and then value we are going to provide so that you have to understand very clearly when you are declaring your html uh, attributes okay so this is very very important once you understand how you are going to pass these attributes you can work with various other elements as well